Hey loves, welcome to another episode of Tampa Designs by Your Girl Joe. Today I'm gonna to be featuring my guest bathroom, but before we get started, I do have a few housekeeping items that I wanna go over with you. Number one, if you aren't already guys, make sure you check out my Instagram page at Tampa Designs by Joe. And number two, Make sure you're subscribing to my channel because if you're not, you're going to be missing out on a ton more videos that I plan on uploading. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, let's get started. I stated before, for those of you that haven't seen my bathroom yet, I want to give you a quick view of what I'm going to be breaking down for you in just a bit. All right, let's get started. Starting with the flooring, this floor tile is a porcelain tile. It's called Casa Bella Beige. It comes in 20 by 20 squares and was purchased from Floor and Decor at a cost of $1.79 a square foot. This is also the same tile that I used on the walls in my shower, and I'll get to that in a bit. My floor mat is woven leather. It was purchased from Home Goods for $19.99. My toilet is American Standard. It's dual flush. It was purchased from Lowell's at a cost of $200. My vanity cabinet is by Forever Mark by Matrix in a cherry finish from their silver collection. The cost was $350, and of course it has soft closing doors and drawers. My cabinet poles are by RK International in an oil rub bronze finish. They are solid brass, purchased from Moles and cost $24.23 each. I know they're coming off kind of gray looking here, but they are um, jet black. My toilet paper holder is from the Providence Delta Collection, which was purchased from Lowell's for $24.98. My granite countertop was purchased from my local fabricator. It was a leftover piece from a Del Cactus brown granite slab and cost $150. The undermount sink is from Pelican International and cost $50. My faucet is a vintage widespread faucet and was purchased from Signature Hardware for $339.95. It's in an oil rub bronze finish. My vanity mirror was actually a Craigslist find. I purchased it off of a woman who personally picked up this mirror from Indonesia. It's handcrafted and hand carved wood and I purchased this from her for $40. My vanity light is an oil rub bronze, 30 inch wide Victorian by Moen, and was purchased from bill.com for $241.56. I actually shopped around for that and bill.com had it for the best price. Otherwise they were a little over $300. My medicine cabinet that you see here was actually handmade by my contractor. The inside and shelving piece was actually a leftover material I had for my kitchen remodel. And then he refinished the crown molding around the sides. So he did that for me for $30. The candles you see sitting inside there were purchased from Home Goods at a cost of $7.99 each. My towel bar ring is also from the Providence Delta collection, and that was purchased from Lowell's as well from for $23.98, and the towel was $15 from Bed Bath & Beyond. The bathtub is by Kohler, model number K-1946-LA-O, and was purchased from bill.com for $646.91. The tub overflow drain is in an oil rub bronze and was an additional charge of $123.30. 
Make sure you purchase the overflow drain as most tub purchases do not include the drain. So don't forget to select your appropriate finish and add that to your order. My teak bathtub tray was purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond and costs $29.99. But if you're like me, make sure you always have one of their coupons and you can get 20% off and get it for a better price. The bar of soap you see here and my natural sea sponge. I purchased both from the Tarpon Spring Sea Sponge Factory. The bar of soap was $3.99 and the sponge was $8.99. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, make sure you check out their shop. They're really awesome there. This towel you see here was also purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond and was $15.99. My fabulous wall tile that you see here, again, that's the same tile that I had on my floors. It's Casa Bella Beige, comes in 20 by 20 squares and was purchased from Floor & Decor for $1.79 a square foot. I also have it over here and it's really, really pretty, I love it. Now on this wall, which I'm calling my uh, accent shower wall, I have a glass mosaic tile, which is called Driftwood Linear. It comes in 12 by 12 sheets, and it was purchased from Floor & Decor at a cost of $7.99 a square foot. I also have it running across and over here. my shower head faucet and also my tub spout those are both by pittsburgh and they are model number g89-8mby i purchased them from faucet direct at a price of 188 dollars and 50 cents Again, I shopped around for that and I found the best price was through Faucet Direct. And of course, they're in the oil or bronze finish. So a really nice way to finish off your tiling is if you get these little metal accent pieces. This one was purchased from Floor & Decor for $19.99. I have it on both sides of my shower. Let's see it right here. And then I also have it around my window frame. Bear with me, it's sunny in here. So, oh, there we go. The camera's having a little bit of a hard time picking it up. But again, it's just a really nice way to finish off the tile so you don't see any of the uh, edging on the sides. In the corner here, I decided to add a little soap dish. This was also purchased from Floor & Decor for $19.99. It's uh, metal and it's in the oil or bronze finish as you can see. It also has this great little hole in the middle so any of the soap or water that gets on there will just drip down and not sit there with your soaps. Again, that same granite that I have on my countertop, I included in this ledge here. And that was also included in the price, that $150 that I paid for the countertop. My shower rod was purchased from Target for $12.99. My shower curtain here was actually a gift for my grandmother. She purchased it from Bed Bath & Beyond and it cost $29.99 and is by Crossville and it's their Leaf Mosaic. My double towel bar that you see here is again from Delta Providence Collection. It was $26.17, purchased from Lowell's. The towels I have here, purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond. The larger one was $35, and the two hand towels were $15. Again, make sure you use your Bed Bath & Beyond coupon so you can get a better price. So my last really cool bathroom feature I have is this Bruin vent fan. It was purchased online from Home Depot. It cost $141.49, and the best part about it is it plays music. And I'm very happy with it, and as you can hear, the sound quality is very good. 
guys, that completes the video tour of my guest bathroom. If you like what you saw, you have questions, comments, you liked the video, you didn't like the video, leave that in the comment section below. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Instagram page at Tampa Designs by Jill. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.